Do we have any Muhammadan? Isn't it really amazing that from all the Muhammadan in the world, there's only this madman he wanna call me? Isn't it weird? Where is the Indonesian stars? Where is those who speak Arabic? Where is the Arab sheikhs? There's no Arab sheikh no more. Andre region, he is an atheist, obviously, and he is saying to us the following. Well, let us switch as long as we don't have Muslims. Let us switch to the atheist so we can love. I find that atheists and Muslims, they are really in the same basket at the end of the day. Both of them, they claim that they believe in science. Both of them, they say, science is our proof. But the second we ask how many scientists or Christians don't agree with you, you will find a lot. So science is not something to be agreeing upon. It is your science who you are agreeing upon. But look what he said. Chimpanzee and a human have the same ancestor. So this is a guy, he is an adult human. His name is Andre. He thinks that his ancestor is a chimpanzee. Hold on. I'm really, really convinced. You see, I do not need to debate you. I agree with you. Obviously, you are from the chimpanzee line. Let us compare. I don't have a picture of you, by the way. But if we compare but between anyone and the Democratic Party, as an example in USA, we will look and we will find nothing but chimpanzee. Like as an example, Nancy Bellusi. She is all over the place. She is in the stock market. She don't care for power, but she take all the information about the stocks and she buy banana. The banana in her language, it is a stock. Shares. But she is, because she is a chimpanzee. Joe Biden is the other kind of chimpanzee. He sent his only son chimpanzee to China. Because his kind of chimpanzee, he liked Chinese food, specifically Chinese banana. So he went there and he did many deals. So when somebody says to us that he believed that he is a chimpanzee, isn't it this is laughable? Isn't it this is stupid that we are in a time that there is a human being he think he was a chimpanzee and he is coming from chimpanzee? And why we are coming from chimpanzee? What is the proof of the chimpanzee theory? We have the same cells. How you know that? How is that? Where do you get this from? Same cells? Everybody knows that the DNA of the chimpanzee is different three species, have different DNA. How we have the same? Who's the stupid here? And as long as all of us we are coming from chimpanzee, why we still have chimpanzees? Why all chimpanzees don't become a human? Let us say when chimpanzee use exist a billion years ago, and then by time they become a human, no problem, we will go with it. But why we still have chimpanzees? Ah, I think there's some chimpanzees, they are so proud about their ancestors and they said no. I over my dead body, I will never accept to change my ethnic. I'm going to stay chimpanzee with red ass. This is how silly, this is how stupid you are. And when you say we are coming from the same cell, how in the world the cell became a chimpanzee? Look, this guy is thinking, if we tell, an, if we tell a chimpanzee about how the atheists they think, I tell you, the chimpanzee will be dying laughing at what those people they are thinking of. He will say, look at this idiot. He's a, he look, he's a human. 
He is thinking that I am he and he is me. Based on this, we can put all atheists in the zoo. You don't know about DNA evolution? Well, I will go by DNA evolution if you wish. You see, the DNA evolution you are talking about, you have no proof of it because you have to have the chain of evolution, which means from point A to point B, but not point A and point B. You have to have point A, B, C, D, etc. Do you have them? And then how we see how the change happened? You will find always that chimpanzee was a chimpanzee. And monkey was always a monkey. And you are a stupid fool. You know, a very simple question for those who believe in atheism and Darwinism. And by the way, did you not did you know the discovery? They notice that they discover now that Darwin he stole all his study from someone else. Can you believe it? He is a fraud. Their Darwin hero is a fraud. Go and check the articles. Written by atheist. But look what happened. If we assume that one day we used to be a cell, and the reason for evolution, according to the science they speak of, is the needs. Needs, like you have a need, so you evaluate yourself, like you know, you change a little bit, little bit by time to fit with the needs you have. Okay. We will take an example. There is a, a cell, very simple cell. It's called paramecium. This is the cell do multiply itself by splitting itself. And there's many, many uh, uh, like uh, creatures are like this, if we can call them creatures. They multiply themselves by splitting their body. Very simple. Well, based on this, there's no need for sex because I can multiply. There's no need for penis, no need for vagina. So how to how a creature, he's one creature, he decide that after a million years from now, I'm going to start working now, making a vagina and a penis. That is a hell of a plan. I mean, do you see how stupid is that? And not only that, I'm going to design the penis in a way it can fit to work with the vagina. And not only that, I'm going to make a technique so when the penis is working, there is a liquid will come. And not only that, I'm going to make this liquid have all the DNA of the male, and then I'm going to make the female have an egg. And not only that, I'm going to make the sperm swim. I will take him to the Virgin Islands to teach the sperm how to do diving. And not only that, I'm going to teach the sperm how to survive with oxygen without having lungs. So he can live as a sperm. And not only that. I mean, look how stupid all of this. All of this is designed by you. You idiot. Can you grow wings for you? Like, can you now decide from now? Now you have a brain. Can you atheist decide to have wings after a billion year? Wings, all of us we like to fly. Do you see how expensive they're playing now? Atheism is a chimpanzee religion. Even chimpanzee will laugh at you. Well, you cannot answer me about biology. What biology, you idiot? You are trying to prove to me that your grand grandfather, he was a chimpanzee, and you are telling me I'm not good in biology. How stupid you are. Okay, let me ask you, what about the ant? Do you think the ant she is descended from Mr. Chimpanzee too? What about the ant? Where the ant is coming from? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I want to see your logic. Where are ants coming from? If this is a harder question for you, I can say there's an ant in your pant. So you as a human coming from chimpanzee. Ants coming from where?
Ah, you don't know. That's it. He threw the answer. You don't know, but you know, it doesn't matter. That's it. You don't know. That's it. He refuted me. No. The funny is that Muslims and atheists, they share the same religion at the end of the day. Why? Because Muslim, they believe that monkeys used to be human. Allah, he cursed them. He made them monkeys. Atheists, they believe that a human used to be monkeys. I don't see any different. Both of you are a bunch of fools. Stupid Abdul. Hey, Shapanzi, your cousin Andre is there. You want to say anything? <laughs> what? No way. Really? Man, why well, you did not say that? Hey, Andre, this is your grandfather. And now you might say to me, how you know what he said? Will you just confirm to me that we are the same ancestors, so we speak the same language. What about the language? Is that a DNA too? Hey, by the way, why Shapanzi don't speak English? French. Like, what the heck with them? Like, ho, 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 ho. what the heck is that? That is the only two letters you know? Imagine this guy, he get married, and then he said to his wife, you are the most beautiful Shapanzi I ever met. She looked at him, honey, you are the worst gorilla I have stepped with. And then in their marriage anniversary, he bring her a banana. She looked at the banana. She said, honey, I wish that this banana is the same as your banana. But obviously, since I marry you, you have no banana. Once I debated an atheist, he got me busted, actually. He said to me, Christian Prince, do you like banana? I said, yes, without thinking. He said, see, I got you busted. How in the world do you like banana now? You are a French? Okay, okay. You know what? It's very easy, by the way, to speak French. I will use the logic of the, uh, the atheist because all of us, we have the same DNA of monkeys anyway. So, okay, a monkey... French, he will say, Lou banana. That's it. Actually, if you look at the monkeys, how they make their lips, Lou, you know, French. Now we get them busted. Mostly, most likely, the most of the chimpanzees in the world, they are coming descended from macaron. And actually, I believe that the word macaroni in Italy is coming from the biggest chimpanzee in the world who used to live in Paris. And they got him busted actually just last week he was doing shop shopping in paris with his wife mrs chopinzi because she was doing shopping i mean did you think about it why it says shopping because this is what chopinzi do they do shopping chopinzi in the in the last in, in in the what it's called the street in the champs elysees chopinzi elysees huh it makes sense just connect the dots together. I mean, why people don't see that? Why, why people are blind? We need, we need the guidance from the banana religion, atheism. What a stupid people. Hey, my friend, why you want to call me? If you are a Muslim, let me know. All the Muslim can call me. Or chimpanzees. Do you think the chimpanzee of the Democrat they are going to win the coming election because they are offering too much banana to the population? So Joe Biden he decided before the election to make a forgiveness for the mortgage for the students. Bribe, using our money. Illegal. The Shapanzi Joe Biden, he went to the Saudi, he kissed their ass. Look at the Shapanzi in the Democratic Party. 
They claim that they want a green environment. How they do it? They go to Saudi buy their oil. <laughs> I mean, those people are really stupid. How you wanna have? How you wanna go green? And then you go to Venezuela, and then you go to the Saudi, and you kiss their ass to sell you oil. I thought you wanna go green. So what's the point of this green thing? And get ready for the impeachment of the Chapanzi Joe Biden. Because now, Washington Post, New York Post, whatever Post, they published a secret deal between him and the Saudi so they can boost his election. And this is a very, very powerful reason to impeach him. Just get ready. The impeachment is coming of Joe Biden. We will send him to Allah. And then his son will be arrested. Do we have any brave Muslim here would like to come to us? Call us. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Don't text me. You cannot call me anyway. You have to be. Text me first. Only if you are a Muslim. Do we have any Abdul? Who is a Muhammadan? He is proud about his prophet, his beautiful, amazing, sexy prophet of Allah, who was so white and which, according to Muslim, that make him so sexy and you know it. Uh, our friend here is saying, if I can read First Peter, chapter three, verse number fifteen, that's a very good verse actually. Uh, but you know, my friend, the Bible says, don't throw your jewels under the feet of the pigs. Be careful. In this scenario, we have monkeys, not pigs. Do we have any Abdul? You know, when I was a teenage, and I start reading all, because in school, by the way, even in the Middle East, I mean, the Middle East is very weird. In one hand, they say that they are Muslim, they are religious, etc., and then they teach you Darwin. You believe it or not, they teach you Darwin in their books. So I start looking at it, see, maybe they are right. I don't know. Let me study, let me see. And then I found it how, how silly, how stupid it is. How nonsense. It's just a theory. And then you will find that scientists who believe in Darwinism all their life one day they change their mind and they come to say, no, this is wrong. There's tons of them. They are atheists. You see, in Darwinism, if like if they say, okay, you know what? A person, a human being, he changed by time uh, by adopting uh, like a, uh, the change of nature. Like, as an example, uh, People who live in the mountains, they have bigger chest because they need to, uh, you know, observe more oxygen. They need more air to go through their lungs. Uh, that's fine. But to say that you used to be something one day and you became something else, you are just a silly person. You, you are just a very silly person. And actually, those scientists, you know, there is something very, very funny about them. They are the same one who say that in a certain time, the whole earth became an ice time and all creatures died. Everything is gone. 
Ice Age. So how were the creatures? The creatures they start again over from zero or from what? The rain come and we start growing as monkeys again. Why you don't debate people in modern debate YouTube channel? I don't like that channel and I don't like to have a moderator. I believe this is a very silly channel. Why somebody need a moderator in a modern de debate? There's no debate. There's no real fighting. Debate is, is a fight between ideas. But giving the mic for five minutes for this guy saying whatever he want, then five minutes to the other guy, by the time he finished, the other, guy is, the other guy is snoring. That is the most silly way of debate. I don't believe in it. I believe it's just a waste of time. It's a stupid behavior, actually. Very stupid. You will not find even one single debate of those debates was a debate. There's no conclusion. Because there's no winner. Why? Because there is five minutes, ten minutes. There's no crossfire fight. There's no somebody getting somebody busted. It's just he talk, I talk, and not only that, they prepare for the topic. Here I don't prepare, call me. You see, people who prepare for a topic because they have no knowledge. Any of you now can make a debate. You go, you search in the internet, you print 20 papers, you put them in the front of you, and then let us go and make a debate about the topic. Don't go out of the topic because I don't have an answer for that. Because they are false debaters. And if you see even people who go there and debate, who are they? Do they have any qualification? None of them. None of them have degrees in Islam. None of them have education about Islam. None of them. The Muslims and the Christians. It's just, a, it's, it's just a silly place for people who want to waste their time. Here, I don't know who's going to call me. I don't know he's a sheikh. I don't know he is a smart. I don't know he's a donkey. I don't know. I don't know what he will say to me. Still, we have our Skype open. Ultimate fault, he sent me a message saying Christianity believe in Darwin. Yeah, true. Must be true. And you are the monkey who discovered that. My friend, don't tell me it will be interesting to debate against this guy and that guy. You just invite them. Here we go. Anyone is welcome to call me. What about you go? Don't mention the name. If you mention names here, I will consider you are just a promoting people. If you know somebody you think is good to debate this person, contact him, tell him, without telling me his name, I don't care. Tell him, do you dare to call a Christian Prince or to give him your Skype? Give me your Skype, I will let him call you. Very simple. I don't need the rest. I do not need his, his name. I do not need to know what his education is. I do not need to, you know. Sorba, why you want to call me, man? Are you a Muslim? There's a guy, he keeps, you know, you know he, he don't want to call me. How many times I said only Muslims? What's wrong with people? Are we now canceling people? Are you people first to cancel you? Get me the people to debate me. Don't complain. You people are just kids. If you have somebody, don't tell me, can you debate this guy or that guy? Just to bring him. You contact him. You ask him to come. Give me his Skype. I will call him. Do we have any Abdul?
you know most of people by the way because they are searching for fame they are searching to be known so they are so interested in names and there's many they are insect what does that mean you will see that if somebody his name is uh, what what the guy name a uh, Patterson the Muslim they swarm over him to invite him because they want to use him to promote themselves and there is many human beings they are the same as insect they follow light of ce celebrity not because how smart the conversation will be if you watch any video of Mimi Hijab and uh, this guy Patterson you will find that both are a bunch of idiots one they call him philosopher the other one he called himself philosopher too but you will not find anything useful in the conversation it's just a stupid conversation between two donkeys did you learn anything no did you come to a conclusion no so what the purpose of the conversation nothing as an example this guy Patterson he invited the sheikh his name is what this guy uh, uh, this is the guy who said the if hadith is the way the if argument i forgot his name so he's the guy starts screwing about islam the prophet he said the prophet he said the prophet he said the prophet he said what joe what patterson is doing he's just promoting islam through his channel allowing a guy to lie as much as he can did he get busted? says no where the prophet he said what you say nowhere so what the point of this conversation People worship fame and famous people. This is the truth. They don't believe in God. They are like insects, like cockroaches. They see crowd, they follow the crowd. They don't know even why the crowd is there. This is the cattle nature. This is the animal nature. People go to a restaurant because the restaurant is busy. It must be good food. Who knows? How you know? Because it's busy. People worship the crowd. People are interested in the crowd, but not in the value. You don't find any value in those conversations. My friend, I challenge all Muslims. What difference is going to make? I challenge all Muslims in the world. Any, 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 and the bigger he is, the better. So it would be interesting to challenge him. Who is he? I made a video uh, not long time ago of this guy. His name is Daniel. Did he even respond? He don't dare. We know what we, you know what will happen. Shabir Ali, they ask him to debate me. ABN TV, they set up a debate time. Shabir Ali, he bought my books. Shabir, I read my books. Shabir Ali contacted ABN and told them he is busy with his PhD. Shabir Ali, many years after, been asked by a Christian, I guess. They said to him, when you are going to debate Christian Prince, he started giving all kinds of excuses. But how many times Shabir Ali debated David Wood? How many times? How many times he debated all kinds of Christians, supposedly, if you can call them Christians? But when it's come to me, Shabir Ali is a potato. Even when they put him in the corner, say, hey, when you are going to debate Christian Prince? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question, uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? So thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, uh, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality uh, 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 and, uh, operating some sort of an internet radio uh, uh, broadcast, uh, uh, as far as I can remember. Uh, 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 he contacted me a long time ago. I never, asking if I, I never contacted him, ever. Never. I don't contact people. Never. What a liar. It was ABN TV. They contacted me saying, we invite you to debate Shabir Ali. I said, sure. 
And then he went and he bought my books. And right away after he bought my books, he, he found out that he is no match. I would debate him and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and um, um, as, then I, I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can say it when I'm there. So when you are going to debate him, you guys, you know, I come here, I stay for hours and hours and hours. And as you see, the only one who call us is just, just like this, this, uh, this scammer from, I don't know, from which country in Africa. The one with the beard, they don't dare. But this guy, he is so all over the place with David Wood. Why? Because they knew that with David Wood, David will never win. And they will never lose, which means no winner, no loser. That's a good debate. That's a perfect debate. They will not end with career ending debate. Do we have any Mohammedan? Any brave Mohammedan? I want to debate your next life. Why next life? Maybe I will not be alive then. Why you don't text me now, David, if you are a Muslim? Why next life? I mean, what, what a difference is going to make? Why next life? Do it now. Sooner, better than later. What does next life mean? If you don't have like too much time, you can call me for 15 minutes. Go ahead, 15 minutes is fine. You are here already for what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes? Why you waste your time? Call me now. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? Have you thought of doing series in Al Fadi channels? Guys, I told you many times, I don't go to other people channels. Or even if it's Christian channels, I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't want it. Al Fadi is a nice person. He invited me many times, and I said no. I am a person who likes to do his work alone. I don't like interview style. What do you think of this? Why I want to waste my time about what I think of this and what I think of that? What about I get a Muslim and you watch a real match of real debate? And then you will see what I think and what you think. Two people agree about something. There's no fun in that. Well, both they agree. So what the what is exactly the point? Okay, I shake my head for you. You shake your head for me. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. But we have, if we have a real Muslim, he have a real argument, and we have a real Christian, he have a real argument, then that would be fun. People will be the judge. That would be interesting. But not two people bashing one religion and both agree to gather about it. I don't want to do that. That's why I keep saying, don't call me if you're a Christian. Because there's no point. Uh, David, if you are an atheist, my friend, what I will talk to you about? We talk about the zoo. You will tell me that we atheists belong to the zoo. I have, I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't waste my time with atheism. You know, I believe all atheists are atheists until they lose, until they lose their health. 
and then they will start praying to God. Just wait. You know, one of the reasons of atheism that people worship themselves and they worship their health and their existence. And when they go through weakness and they notice that all their agenda is demolishing, when they see the wrinkles in their face, when they say their skin is changing, when they say they cannot even walk one step, then the atheist, he is afraid. The nature of a human being is disgusting. He is needy and greedy. When God is needed, I remember God. When God is not needed, I deny God. That what a human being is. You know, uh, I don't know how many of you have a dog. Who have a dog here? A guard dog, not like those funny dogs, which is useless. If you have a guard dog and you live in a farm, not, I mean, I mean, there's no purpose of dogs to guard you today. And as there is a farm, you have sheep, because they don't guard you really, they guard the sheep maybe. But if we say, I'm going to go in the jungle of the Amazon. I have to. I have to cross there to survive. Something happened. Do you like to be alone? Or you prefer to have a dog? Just be honest. Do you like to be alone? Or you prefer to have a dog? And you are the master of this dog. The answer is very simple. No, I prefer to have a dog. Why? The journey is tough, dangerous, risky, and you need a companion which is useful. Which is useful. So the relationship between the man and the dog is not a doggy relationship. The man is still a man and the dog is still a dog. The dog, he get the benefit from the relationship with the man, and the man get the benefit from the relationship with the dog. The dog, he alarm him when there's a dangerous. The dog can use his teeth to protect him. The dog, he will unleash his power when there's a beast approaching. The dog can scare some bad animals. So I have a benefit. What the dog he want from the human? He eat whatever the human give him. He feel protection too. And he feel he is not alone. Dogs are social. They like to have a companion. So there's exchange. So an atheist, he decide to exchange his lonely life in the jungle. And instead of having God, he decide to have a dog thinking that his dog will protect him from death, thinking that his dog will protect him from disasters, thinking that he can pass all journeys and all dangers by having a dog. And your dog today is your belief in atheism. Your dog is not even a real dog. It's a fiction one. As soon as you are in trouble, in the same moment, you will notice that your dog is not exist. Atheism is the most silly, stupid belief, selfish, self-esteem worship, has no proof, and even the science they speak of is against them. They come to you with theories and they call them science. They come to you and say, we have DNA similarity, but that proof that the creator is one. How we know that this picture is drawn by Picasso? Because he have a fingerprints, he have a way, style, others don't have. All the creatures in this earth, 
has the fingerprint and the signature of God. Even trees, even plants, even grass. So similarity, because the origin is one creator, not one creature. Do we have any Muhammadan? CP, he changed the topic to atheism. Now the Abdul are happy. No, I did not. But it doesn't hurt to uh, to arm the Christians with answers against uh, atheism because atheism is very dangerous too. Both are both are danger. Both atheism and Islam. Both of them are extremist. Both of them they are violence. The most two religion who killed in the world is Islam and atheism. Somebody might say to you the crusade, but the crusade was a reaction, not an action. 600 years after Jesus, we never have a crusade. When the Muslims attacked us, we have the crusade. So even that propaganda doesn't work, it's false. Atheist and Muslim believe in the same thing, dictatorship. If I don't agree with you, I cut your head. When communists control a country, all non-communists either in jail or dead. When Islam control a country, all non-Muslims either they flee or they are dead or they have to pay to live. Both they share the same value. Paganism, violent, money worship, sex addiction. Crusade did not kill a lot. Why they will not kill a lot? But it's a problem of killing a lot. Killing a lot of enemy is not a bad thing. What's wrong with that? Somebody come into your land to rape your wife, killing him a lot or killing him little, what makes sense? Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? There is peaceful atheist. Will you, who, I mean, peaceful atheist. You see my friend, Google controlled by atheist. They are so peaceful to the point I'm still alive. But look, Muslim, they can collect donation. I cannot. So they try to kill you by giving, you know, making you go hungry. Amazon hiding my books. Atheist. You can buy a book about intercourse with the anus of a child in Amazon. But people, they keep looking for my book, Quran and Science, and uh, 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 in depth in the Amazon, they cannot find it. So atheism, they are dictatorship religion. Twitter, anyone who don't agree with them, they mute him. This is not different from killing. Facebook, YouTube, wherever atheists they are located, dictatorship is their religion. Even if you want to do PhD in biology, if you don't agree with the atheist, they will not even allow you to start your PhD. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? May they, may they, may they. Guys, do you like me to come back again today? Do you like me to take some few hours break and come back again later?
No, it's not sad when they do that, my friend. Listen, when when there is people trying to mute you and silence you, ask yourself, huh, I must be doing something good. They cannot refute me, but they may not want to mute me. Those who try to mute, you see, I allow Muslim to call me, right? And we speak for an hour, two hours. And if he starts playing games, he don't want to answer, they're wasting our time, I will let him go. But he's not muted, he can still, he can refute me, he can make videos, he can, he can do whatever he wants. I give them all the chance to give me all the refutation they can. Still they cannot. Why we keep saying no Christian call me only Muslims? Because we don't want to mute the Muslims. We want to hear their answers. And the second we hear their answers, people will laugh. Like as an example, this guy who made a thumbnail for his video and he is so happy because this guy is interested in Islam. Why? He summarized his video in his thumbnail. This guy, he want to have 72 versions. The Muslim guy is so excited. So this guy, he want to convert to Islam because he want to get 72 women to F them. Those people, they will never dare to speak to me because in a second, what they think it's a victory will turn to be an embarrassment. A man who own a pimp house website website practice camera sex he converted to us now so he was a pimp he become a pimp what what is the honor in that they are so desperate with their false religion trying to find like he's trying to tempt you now by the thumbnail look you want to get 70 version look this guy he said, I want to have four wives. I want to have 72 versions. And the Sheikh Uthman, he is the one who made this graphic. He's summarizing your religion. What is interesting in his religion for this pervert who is speaking to him? This is why we want the Muslim to speak here. Because right away we see that they are following a pervert. Their God is a pervert. Their prophet is a pervert. And everything about the religion is a pervert. Right? You know, I don't know. Anyone knows, by the way, what software he is using? I'm going to buy the same software. Most of them, they don't buy software, by the way. They just download illegal versions of it, as usual. Uh, Mr. David is posting for us. Uh, the book of number 31 17 18 you know david you are just an idiot because if you go and read the story you will see that those people they killed the jews they killed their little one they killed their young one they killed their old ones so in the case of war why they can kill us we cannot kill them and by the way just because you are a donkey if you read there you will see the jews did not do that they did not because they are stupid. If they did, the war is ended, and there's no more wars in the future. Those ones will grow, and they will seek revenge for their parents. From both sides. So, the enemy of the Jews, they killed their children. They killed their men. They raped their women. They captured the whole nation. The Jews, they've been captured the whole nation, not only their cows, not only their women, the whole nation, the cows, the chicken, everything. So people are stupid. They go back in history thousands of years ago and they say, how do you do that? This is how they can survive, you donkey. And because they did not do that, they did not survive. People are silly. People are stupid. People are limited. They see the world from the hole of their anus. And they think they are looking in the telescope.
Keep versions for yourself. Yeah, you marry them. So what versions for yourself? Keep versions for yourself. The enemy, they took our women too. And now we are taking their women and we cannot rape them. If you want to marry that version, the reason it says the virgins only, because the Jews believe that those enemies, they are filthy. They are unclean. They worship gods who they are pagans. The virgin still is a pure. So if you want to marry a virgin, not keep her to have sex with her, a Jew, he cannot have sex with his slave. He can marry his slave. He cannot even sell the slave. So when a human being, he come and he go back on time thousands of years ago and he try to understand what happened there in the time of today, when in the time of today, people, they are still practicing slavery. Today. If you live at that time, what you will do? Enemy doing the wrong? Well, okay, I, I want to ask you, uh, Mr. David. You said enemy do wrong, so we do wrong. Uh, the Russian now, they are bombing civilians in Ukraine. Can the Ukrainian bomb civilian back? You will say that bombing civilians is wrong. So look what will happen. Because supposedly you claim that you have ethic, you claim that somebody he can put my house in fire. I cannot shoot back at his house and put it in fire. So my house in fire, my people are dying, and I have the good ethic. I cannot shoot there. There is women and there's children. That because a stupid you were trying to think about the stupid solution. The only way to stop your enemy is doing whatever you can. It's a war. This is not talking. This is war. This is blood. And the Jews, they believe, eye for an eye. That is justice. The stupid you think this is not justice because you are stupid. And actually, this is why the community in the West is really horrible to live in. A person, he drove a car and he killed, I don't know, 20, 30 child in the Christmas day. And then now they are in the court discussing if we put him in jail or not. Human being today, they lost their sense of justice. I mean, obvious, isn't it obvious that this person should be punished as he did to the people? He drove his car in purpose to kill them. Who? Children. And they are not the enemies. They are people walking in the street. And until now, those stupid atheists, they are thinking, maybe we give him 10 years, 25 years. No, this is too much. This is why crimes in New York, in Chicago, in all the atheist territories is a massive because those people, they lost their sense of justice. Do you know that in New York, if you beat the hell of a man, you don't go to jail? Do you know in New York, not a single person who would beat those Asian women, and we saw them in the videos, not a single one of them is in jail? Do you know in New York and in Chicago, if you steal less than $800, you don't go to jail? The police will not even stop you. Very idiot. And now David, he is upset, so he is insulting Jesus. And now David, we send you and we give you a finger as you deserve. And as long, you know, the funny is, David, he said, Jesus is a gay. All right? He, he said that. We blocked his the chat. But those atheists who they are speaking about ethic, 
when they try to insult one of us, they call him gay. Do you see how hypocrite they are? If you ask David the atheist, he will say, what's wrong with being gay? <laughs> but now because he's upset, he's trying to insult us, so he says Jesus is etc. So he himself, the hypocrite, who he claimed that he have ethic of atheism, consider being a gay an insult. I remember once I was doing an, a seminar, and then a guy, he's an atheist, obviously, he said, you Christians, you have a phobia against gays, you know, and I think you have the same. I said, are you gay? He got upset. He didn't know that I'm just trapping the hell of him. He is just a certified donkey. He said, why you are saying that to me? I said, look, you have a phobia. <laughs> look what happened to you. I did not say anything. I just said, are you a gay? You get upset. And yet you are the one who is accusing me that I have a phobia. Why you get upset? He could not answer. He's a potato. He's a donkey. So supposedly he is against uh, 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 you know, to believe that gays and lesbian is bad, and suddenly, just because I ask him, are you a gay, he gets so upset and so angry. This is remind me, when the Jews, they come to Jesus and they said to him, should we pay money to Caesar, tax to Caesar? Jesus, he look at them, he says, can you show me what, do you have any coins with you? He said, sure, 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 Jesus, we are here to get you busted. He looked at the coin, he says, this is the picture of who? They said, Caesar. This is, well, give to Caesar what to Caesar, you donkey. So the hypocrites, they are questioning if they should pay Caesar tax or not. Yet they have no problem to use the dollar of Caesar. This is the same as the Muslims. They say they are against America, but ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, their banks is full of dollars. And in the dollar it says, in God we trust. Andre, uh, I will give you a warning. We have a topic here, and you are being stupid again. Look what Andre, this is the last time I will I will see you saying those things. You are trying just to take us out of our topic. Look what this uh, uh, Andre, he said. Just to show you how low IQ people have. doesn't matter if they are Muslims or not. And how people don't even use their brain when they speak or they make a comment. So Andre, he said, just tell that Jesus is God incarnated that does not contradict the Hindus belief and Jesus message is love what can be more beautiful I mean this is the most stupid beautiful comment you see when we say Jesus incarnated who said that to you this is Jesus incarnated God in who, who told you that where do you get this from God he said in the Old Testament, God, he created Adam in his image. So the image of Jesus is the image of God. When the Christian, they believe that the Messiah as Lord, he become a man. Doesn't mean that this is a new creature, a new person, a new etc. From the beginning, God created Adam in his image. What is the image? The image of God. What is the image of Adam? The image of a man. In your religion, as a Hindu, you believe God become a rat. 
or an elephant. In my belief, from the beginning, God created Adam in his image. If I go right now and I search in YouTube, you will find tons of documentaries about Hindus worshipping rats. You see, we say the Muslims lost their mind. But is the Hindus are better? Rat worshipping? This is incarnation now? I hope that the biggest rat between them will forgive your sin. And maybe I can give him some cheese and that will solve all my sin. I don't know what cheese they like. You can let me know. Just because I have a lot of sin, my, my friend. I don't know if you can speak to your friends and we can just finish it there. Rats, gods became rats, and you serve them in your temple. That's very cute. So don't speak about logic and don't speak about beauty. And don't divert me from my topic. Otherwise, if I speak about Hinduism, people would die laughing and it's actually even more disgusting. And you know, I found that the gurus of Hinduism, they are very aggressive, they are not peaceful. They speak too much about uh, accepting each other, love, etc. But in reality, they are very violent like Muhammad. Very violent. An example. They asked Sad Guru about his wife, how she died. He said, she used yoga and she decided to die by her yoga. Who in the world would believe such a garbage? Committing suicide by yoga? The police, they, they have report that he killed his wife. I made videos to get him busted about his opinion of many philosophy, he say. What sad guru he did? In the same video, he was speaking about accepting each other, listening to each other. Why we go crazy if somebody disagree with me? 15 minutes after I made the video, sad guru, he went to YouTube and he reported my videos for copyright. But all his video was about acceptance of each other. Why you get angry if somebody criticizes you? His video say. I made a video criticizing him. He reported me to YouTube. Anyway, not our topic, but some people they force us to mention things. So stay, stay quiet. You don't if you don't want to be whipped by our answers. Be quiet. Otherwise, you will be sorry. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim? According to Hinduism, you see you are trying to divert my topic, and maybe I should block you. According to Hinduism, watch my previous video, a man is allowed to sleep around and cheat. Women are not. This is your Hinduism. It's a stupid cult. What kind of religion says that man can sleep around and only women she have to be decent?
And I challenge you to say I'm lying. And if you say I'm lying, I'm going to allow you to call me live on air, and I will make you read it. So, you know, in Hinduism, they give you speeches about philosophy, etc., but it is a pervert, awkward. We can't even call it a religion, it's just a messed up thing, it's a cocktail of everything. A man he can sleep around the women she cannot. Why? And if the man he sleep around, well, that means the women she should be sleeping around too, because the man is sleeping around with women. I mean, look how stupid even their philosophy. CP is ignoring my text. What is your text? Let me go back and see if you have a text. CP ignoring my text. It must be a very important text. I don't see your text. Post your text again so we can see it. Mr. Ignoring my text. Ethanol. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? He want to debate me? Well, if he is a Muslim, he can text me in Skype and I will take him. What text? You have to text me in Skype. I will call you. No need for drama. If you are really a person who want to debate me, all what you need to do, just text me in Skype. The admin are posting my Skype. Thanks to them. I will call you immediately and we will see how good you are. But ignoring your text, afraid of your text, that is something silly and stupid. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Any Mohammedan? Ignoring an important question. Uh, you know, we don't have time for kids. If you have an important question, what about you call me and you say it? Okay, I'm going to block you because your question is so important so I can force you to call me. What do you think? You see how I'm afraid of you? And the funny is you never pose even the question, but you are claiming that people are afraid of your question. For sure we are afraid because we do not know it. It's a mystery question. Aren't you afraid? I have a question. Okay, what is the question? I cannot tell you my question. How we can answer it? Because you're afraid my question. What the heck? Okay, well tell us the question so we can see if we can answer it. I really think with timeless and less Muslims will call you and will have to go find yourself soon to continue spread the truth. Well, I don't know. I don't know what does that mean? Timeless. Fire. Hey, people, do we have any real adult here would like to call me and they call themselves Muslims? Enough kids talk. Do we have any adult mature Muslim? They believe in Allah, the one who claimed to be the creator, to call us and refute us. Anyone else, he will come here to just to play a game. Oh, I'm going to block you. Don't waste my time. Any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge. Anyone? 
Nobody. So we are here for how many hours? Zero Muslim dare to call. Hmm? Adrian, don't repeat the same message 20 times, my friend. We are not blind. Don't keep pasting the same text again and again. We are not blind. And obviously, we are not responding to what you say. Even you are saying encouragement things because we don't. We should not. Do you need to keep saying CP, 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 the same text? You remind me of a Middle Eastern woman. She bought a CD to cook an, a cake, to make a cake. And then the CD stuck with the word saying, break an egg, break an egg, break an egg. And she continued breaking eggs. So are you going to stay in the chat, keep reposting break an egg until tomorrow? Use your brain. Don't be a dummy. We want a smart conversation. Andre, you are not welcome here no more. I told you, you are changing our topic. Please leave. When we say Jesus come in the flesh, doesn't mean that we have a new Jesus. Jesus says before Abraham, I am. And Abraham, he saw my day. God himself, he came to Abraham when he is a man. So you are an ignorant. You do not know what Christians believe. And you are trying to compare between Hinduism and Christianity. There's zero, zero things to share. Hinduism is not even a religion. Hinduism is a collection of philosophy, stupid philosophy, racist philosophy, discrimination philosophy, discriminating people based on their race, discriminating people based on their color, based on their religion, based on their level in the society. They have level in society. They have a casting system. Very ugly, disgusting. Stop right there, my friend. Hinduism is the last ever belief. Can be even considered for a second. Muhammad, he have a casting system too. Those who they are not Muslims are Najis. Filthy. No go zone. You don't allow them to come here. You share too many things with Muslims actually. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? The casting system alone is enough to prove that Hinduism is anti-ethic and anti-God and anti-human. Uh, Saint in saying, uh, don't lie. Have you ever heard any Hindu scriptures? Okay, what about me? You call me right now and we will put in the screen Hindu scriptures. Is that fair? Do you like to call me right now? The only thing I would do, I will ask you to read it. Hindu scriptures. You are a potato. Christian prince, don't lie. I mean, everybody in the world knows the casting system. We'll take you two seconds. To search in Google, and you will find that the Hindu they practice this for thousands of years. This Hindu guy now he says no casting system. You are lying. Where do you get this from? <laughs> what a, what an idiot! Is you know like you are the uh, the ostrich. She put her head in the hole. She think the wolf don't see her no more. Potato. Will take people two seconds, you idiot. Two seconds. Casting system.
Prophet Google, peace be upon him. And I will show you the casting system from your Hindu website, the same as we show it to the Muslims from their website. This is Sad Guru website. Look at this. Sad Guru website. Who? who, who? Sad Guru. Your beloved Zakir Naik. You see the Hindus, they have Zakir Naik, his name is Sad Guru. The Muslim, they have Zakir Naik, different Zakir Naik. The four tires of the Indian castings caste system. And here, Sadhguru, he have a graphic for you. Dating back to more than 3,000 years, the caste system divide Hindus into main category, Brahmins, etc. And the guy is saying, this is not true. This is a lie. It's not there. <laughs> and now he will be angry from sad guru. Shame on you, sad guru. You are a liar. You are saying there's a caste system and you make a graphic for it? What a liar you are. Man, oh man. Christian Prince. That guru, he's my friend, and he never lie. What the heck, Zakir Naik, where you get from? How do you know what we are talking about? Christian Prince, I always watch your channel. And that guru is a very respectable man. Uh, okay, so what do you think about the caste system? Caste system have a reason. And me, myself, my ancestors need to be Hindus. I don't know, I know that, exactly. Yeah, but do you drink uh, milk, uh, camel, uh, or uh, uh, cow camel? Christian Prince. First of all, you have wrong understanding of the Hinduism. And actually, we can find the concept of God in the Hinduism, scripture, the same in the Quran. Go read right now in YouTube, watch the video, sorry, of Zakir Naik explaining the concept of God that both Hindus and Muslims, they share. Both of them, they have the same concept. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I don't know. Should I come back later, guys? I mean, my voice is getting tired, really. But I will try if I can get back again. Just, you know, don't forget, subscribe if you are already subscribed. But always go to Patreon. is the best way because you will receive email. And don't forget to subscribe to our my account in Twitter. Actually, I have this uh, account in Twitter once. I was just, I, I wanted to just to answer somebody. So I created just like, uh, not to make an account, really. Because I deleted my old account with the Twitter a long time ago, even though I have tens of thousands there. Uh, but now, as long this uh, Elon Musk, Musk or Musk, I don't know what they call him, he became the owner. So we hope that the Twitter will be something better. So subscribe to my uh, account in my Twitter. I will post there when I go live on air, if you care. All right. And we appreciate you all, including the one we got busted. Because when we bust you, that means we love you. This is how true Christians, they show their love to you. They bust you. They refute you. They make you wake up from stupid things you believe in so you can be saved. Uh, a Hindu saying, a Christian prince, you are a coward. You cannot debate a real Hindu. Well, I have an offer for you. Do you dare to bring that sad guru to debate me? Already you lost the debate, you coward. This is Sad Guru website. Sad Guru speaking about the casting system. Idiot. You cannot debate a real Hindu. Okay. I guess I can't. Because you are not a real Hindu. He, he know Hindus, be careful. Yeah, maybe they are Muslim trying to divert my topic. 
Otherwise, I can make a special channel just for the Hindu religion. Trust me. I know that Hinduism treating Christians very bad. But for me, I prefer to focus in the garbage of Muhammad. But don't, don't even try. You will be sorry. However, uh, I will be happy if you can bring me the coward sad guru who reported my videos to YouTube for copyright because I got him busted. If your sad guru dare to have just 15 minutes with me, people will die laughing. And then you will know that you have bankruptcy. All right? I have my, by the way, I have many people who they are, they support what I do, they are Hindus. But doesn't mean if you are a Hindu and you support what I do, I will not criticize Hinduism. For us as a Christian, all other beliefs are false. And I believe Hinduism is very bad, not only false. Islam is very ugly, dangerous, but doesn't mean Hinduism is better. Uh, anyway, let us see if I can come again tomorrow, uh, sorry today, and uh, subscribe. Already we are here almost for four hours. If my voice is good to go. Why you don't debate me, CP? Who are you? Why you don't text me and call me in Skype? Why you are asking me why you don't debate me, but you don't try to debate me? What do you want me to do? Jump in the chat to debate you? Just get out of here. Next time you come here with your dad. All of you are heroes. I'm here for four or five hours saying, who want to call me? And then they say, oh, why you don't want to debate me? <laughs> and then now I'm leaving. Suddenly all of them, they are heroes. Christian Prince is running, Allahu Akbar, he's running. The Hindu, they brought their cow, and the Muslim, they brought the peace of the Prophet, and now he's running. He must be scared. I lost my voice saying, who want to call me? And what kind of heroes you guys are? I'm sure your wife, she is so proud of you. You know, honestly, once, this is, was a long time ago in Pal Talk. I was speaking in Pal Talk, I think, eight, ten hours. I'm not sure, really. This is like, but I was really tired. You know, I need to go sleep. The second I say, okay, guys, thank you all very much for being here. Good night. A Muslim, he challenged me to debate. Look what they do. They say to themselves, I'm going to record this. Christian Prince is leaving. I will put my, like in that time, like, you know, you put your hand up in the chat room, which when you want to talk, you want to take the microphone. You can talk both of you at the same time. And the Christian Prince, he will say, okay, I have to go. And then I will record it. I will post it to my channel. And people will see it. Christian Prince run away from me. So I'm tired. I'm really sleepy. I'm speaking for like 10 hours. And then the Muslim, he put his hand up. I said, okay, let us debate. He ran away. <laughs> oh, yo. Once the Muslim shakes, they agree to debate me and they made a challenge to debate me and they chose the date. It was December 25th. They thought if they chose December 25th, I would say no. I said yes. Once they challenged me to debate me in the new year evening, I said yes. And they never show up. Potatoes, potato, 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 potato. What I can do to you? You are just a potato, and here we fry you. All right. Now I don't know if they want to challenge me to debate me in the day of my funeral. Trust me, they will do it. 
when Christian Prince he died, they are taking him in the coffin. The Muslim they will say, We challenge Christian Prince to debate as the coward. Why he don't answer? Christian Prince, we are calling you in Skype. Like, what the heck? You know, when I went, I was in the army, the American army. So I was away for some time. And it's very funny that the day I came back in Paltok, I opened Paltok using my like the account I use, which everybody knows. And I found a chat room in the social issue say, saying, the title is, Celebrating the Death of a Christian Prince. <laughs> so the Muslims, they come to a conclusion, this guy disappear. Where do you go? He must be dead. So they have a, 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 a like a, a chat room, big chat room, have like hundreds, celebrating the death of a Christian prince. So I went to Paltok, you know, the company, the co-admin, and I contacted one of them, and he texted me back. They can text you in private. And I said to him, well, there's a chat room. The title is celebrating the death of a Christian prince. Are you going to allow that? As he said, what's what the problem? I said, well, I'm a Christian prince. So he texts me back saying, are you saying you're alive? <laughs> that must be a genius atheist. Are you saying you're alive? Uh, what? Can you believe it? I said, what do you mean? I'm a Christian prince. I said, yeah, yeah, I know. But are you saying you're alive? I said, who's talking to you? Like, what's wrong with you? And it took me some time to convince him that this is not right. I mean, how you allow somebody to open a chat room celebrating my death? Let's say for the sake of anything, I died. How you can allow such a thing? But the donkey, he's asking me if I am still alive or not. I mean, this earth is full of donkeys. Very weird. Yeah, that's why I say stupidity is amazing. And the funny, when I log up in the uh, in, in Paltok, I found tons of text messages. CP, where are you? People are saying that you are dead. CP, are you okay? Where you been? Please answer us, say anything. Muslims, they are saying that you've been killed in car accident. Some Muslims, they say the train go over you. Some Muslims, they say the, a lion, he ate you in the zoo. Some Muslims, they say that your mother-in-law, she shot you. Some, I mean, you see all kinds of funny messages. I said, what? I'm not married, you idiot. What? Ma so I, I die laughing at all the, the, the gossip they spread. They are so happy that Christian prince disappeared. In the army, there's no phones. You can't go on the internet. You can log anywhere. I mean, that's it. It's 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 forbidden actually. So, uh, like you can, uh, for sure, depend where you are if they have internet. Uh, so they spread all kind of rumors, and some Christian they believe it that Christian prince must be dead. I mean, how in the world did it disappear? You know. yeah anyway i think it's time to go and if i can come back again please subscribe join us in twitter and you will be notified as soon as i'm up on air i hope you enjoy the time with us and we pray that what we do here uh is going to be helpful and uh good education for those who need it uh, you know I encourage people to download my videos even if you are not going to repost them you can give them title you can take notes about them because one day maybe you need reference and you cannot find those reference maybe one day you need to refute somebody I experienced many people 
saying to me, oh, my son, he have a girlfriend and uh, she is trying to convert him to Islam. Like an experience, a girl, she sleep with a Christian boy. He's a teenager. And she told him, I will not sleep with you no more unless you become a Muslim. He said to her, why? He said, I sleep only with Muslim boys. It's not right to sleep with a Christian boy. So the teenage, the idiot, he want to convert because now she will not allow him to get inside her skirt. Now for sure, I mean, he is being an idiot, but he is just a kid. So the parents, they come to me asking me if I can help. Can I talk to him, etc. So don't wait until that things that like that they happen. First of all, teach your son to, be, to have some ethic, not to go sleep around. Secondly, if a woman, she is saying, I will not sleep with you unless you convert to religion. Obviously, she don't care for religion because why she is sleeping with him anyway? So she is doing jihad through her vagina. They go sleep with the Christian boys and she is good looking. She's pretty, as they say to me. And now if you want to be with me in the bed, you have to convert and say Shahada. And he said, okay, I said, no, you have to go to the mosque. And we need to record you in video. Imagine. And later he learned that she did that with a couple of other, you know, young Christian kids. She sleep with them. And then she ask them to convert to Islam if they want to continue a relationship with her. So this is a very, very ugly religion. Uh, and if you don't teach your children about it very early, the trap is really big. And they can trap your kids. They are very professional. Very professional. Anyway, Thank you for being here. We will not play any music at the end. I hope to see you soon again, maybe today, later, maybe tomorrow. God is willing. And I will see you again. May the Lord bless you and have a great weekend. And those who live in Asia, have a great Monday. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. And Muhammad is a pervert. And we prove it every time we go live. Thank you. Take care.